All right, all right. Welcome back to the 1876 After Party. The radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince, here with the post-game show for the Prairie View A&M University Panthers going to A.W. Mumford Stadium to steal the win with the final score of 27-21. to Panthers pitch a shutout in the second half after trailing 21-17 to at halftime. The Panthers move forward and secure themselves with their hopes alive, increasing their record to 5-2 and two in conference play as they will get ready to host their final home season game against the Alabama State Hornets, who are victorious over Mississippi Valley by the score of 20-3. to three. Now all eyes will be geared toward Shell Stadium in Houston, Texas on Sunday, 2 p.m., as Alcorn will take on the Texas Southern Tigers. If by chance the Texas Southern Tigers can win that game, that would help the Panthers because then you would have to have Alcorn beating Jackson in order for Jackson, I'm sorry, in order for Alcorn to be in good shape. But if for whatever reason... The Panthers win next week against Alabama State. Texas Southern wins on Sunday and Jackson State loses or win on Saturday. It's in the bag for the Panthers. But however, the Braves would need that division loss, I'm thinking, which would help them tremendously, them being the Panthers, to secure the West. What a final week this is going to be. The Panthers had 367 total yards of offense. 163 of those yards were on the ground with 48 carries. But what was more important, more impressive, the Panthers only had four penalties for 36 yards, 36 yards of penalties. I'm sorry, 41 yards of penalties. They had 36 yards at the half. They had three for 36 at the half. Only had one penalty in that second half for five yards for that total of four for 41. Meanwhile, Southern had seven penalties for 67 yards. The Panthers on the road getting it done still not out of the woods yet but it's looking a lot better than what it was a couple of weeks ago meanwhile you gotta feel bad for coach Eric Dooley and what he's experiencing right now in Baton Rouge rough time great expectations they got a serious two headed monster and quarterback controversy they don't know who they want to use and when they want to use them. They had bloods to start. He was then replaced by uh, Baldry, and then they went back and forth, teeter and totter. Um, as a result, they say if you have two or three quarterbacks, you really don't have a quarterback. So we're wishing them well. But meanwhile, back at the ranch, the Panthers staying alive, looking like they're – trying to get this thing together. you got to tip your hat to the defense, pitching that shutout in the second half. No bend, no break, no nothing. Smothering, getting key sacks, and and just great open field tackling tackling from start to finish. want to thank Coach Heist Northern and Philip Prince for providing our live coverage that you'll get a chance to go back and listen to the recap to our YouTube channel at the Open Mic Broadcast Network in case you didn't get a chance to check it out live. But them guys did a great job, and we'll be right back in the saddle for next week when the Panthers host the Alabama State Hornets on the hill. Panthers victorious, 27 21 in the battle on the bluff to secure their conference record to 5 and 2 overall 5 and 3 so not only will this game 
be of significance for the Panthers next week to stay alive for the West, but it will also ensure that Coach McDowell will have his second consecutive winning season as the head coach. Yes, he's at 6-5, and five, or he would be at 6-5 and five just as last year, but it's still a winning record. Stay tuned with us to see how it all unfolds next week. We want to thank the Prairie View Athletic Club for being our 1876 post-game show sponsor and game day sponsor. They are supporters of Prairie View Athletic since 1986. If you would like to be a part of the movement and help the cause of supporting Prairie View Student Athletics, get in contact with President Greg Austin at 857 857- well, let's go back. 936-857-5817. Panthers, victorious, keeping hope alive, and we are going to see what the end is going to be. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. Thank you guys so much for joining. Don't forget, follow me on X at the Mike Prince Show. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like our videos, share the link, and let's keep this party rolling. So until the next time, you guys be blessed, and we'll see you on the other side.